I'm Con Chonry. Welcome to a special Thanksgiving episode of Unhistorical History. The history of Thanksgiving. The very first Thanksgiving took place around 1619 in November, a year after the Pilgrims first arrived in Cleveland and had first contact with the Cleveland Indians. There was a lot of preparation for the first Thanksgiving. For example, Cleveland didn't have wild turkeys, so the Pilgrims were forced to import frozen turkeys from Europe. The Thanksgiving celebration commemorated the invention of the automobile at DeSoto Plymouth Rock. The DeSoto Plymouth brand proved to be a wonderful economic boom for the Pilgrims, and the company was in business for nearly 300 years. In the 20th century, they had even had Groucho Marx as a notable spokesperson. Friend? Go in and see you to sell the Plymouth dealer tomorrow. And when you do, tell them that you sent you. Life for the pilgrims wasn't just full of fast cars and delicious meals, though. The first winter they spent in Cleveland, they couldn't pay their heating bill because of the expense to get to Cleveland. Airfare is particularly high in the summertime, and unknowingly, they bought their tickets at the height of the season. On top of that, British Airways had to put them on three separate flights because of limited seat availability. The Nina, the Pinto, and the Bismarck flew out of Heathrow, but not without difficulties beforehand. They were forced to wait three hours for their planes, due to inclement weather. Today, Thanksgiving celebrations in the United States consist of some basic celebrations, namely eating, drinking, and falling asleep on the couch while watching football. It is, of course, an unhistorical irony that we watch football seeing as the Pilgrims first made contact with the Cleveland Indians. Some Americans believe the baseball season should be extended to honor the American Indians who first encountered the Pilgrims. A modern phenomenon in the United States, particularly influenced by vegetarians, vegans, and those for animal rights, is the presidential pardoning of certain turkeys prior to Thanksgiving. Critics of this practice say it's only privileged turkeys that get pardoned, and not the average turkey. In fact, most pardoned turkeys come from a family that makes more than $100,000 a year. Turkeys from families making less than $100,000 a year are underrepresented in the presidential pardons. Also, 99% of pardoned turkeys are white, causing controversy within the wild turkey community. Little known fact. Turkey's name comes from the abundance of turkeys in the region. We here at Unhistorical History hope that you'll keep these unhistorical events in mind while eating the carcass of a condemned turkey with your family. I'm Con Chonry, and you've been watching Unhistorical History. From our family to yours, I want to wish everybody a wonderful and happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Uh, and now, since liberty and peace have been so patient, it is my privilege to grant them the official pardon. And I'm going to, I've got to give them a little sympathy.